it's finally out for you guys, Vision OS 2.4. Welcome back to a vision experiment with me, Ty, talking everything Apple Vision Pro and spatial computing. And this is just a quick video just to let all of you guys out there know that Vision OS 2.4 has now had its full public release. After months and months of Vision OS 2.4 releasing, giving us Apple intelligence and more AI features, it's finally available for everybody to try on Apple Vision Pro right now. Now, if you haven't been watching my previous videos about what was gonna be coming with the Beta 2.4 software, now that we're in full release, these are the things that you'll be able to get your hands on and play with on your Apple Vision Pro today. So you've got writing tools. This gives users a system-wide ability to be able to rewrite, proofread, and generate text using ChatGPT across mail, notes, and more. Also, you've got Image Playground, which will allow you to be able to generate your own personal images and create different types of themes and be able to use them within apps such as Freeform and Messages. Apple Intelligence also brings Genmoji, where you've got the ability to create your own emojis in any way you would like, using prompts and giving you the emoji that fits for any occasion and Smart Reply, which is a super quick and efficient way to reply back to those emails in an instant. You'll also be able to use natural language to search your Photos app and find specific images a lot easier. It also brings other features you've seen from Apple Intelligence, such as Priority Mail and many other features of Apple Intelligence. Some of the bigger things to come to Apple Vision Pro specifically is the introduction of Spatial Gallery, which is a curated gallery of spatial content, both photos and videos, curated by Apple themselves, giving you the ability to see things you would normally not have access to in 3D. We've also got the brand new guest mode that's come to Apple Vision Pro, which has allowed you as a Vision Pro user to share your device with others a lot quicker and easier. All you've got to do is place the Apple Vision Pro on someone's head and it will prompt them to start a guest mode action. You will then be able to allow it from your phone, giving them the opportunity to start their hand and eye calibration. It also allows an airplay cast so you can see what they're seeing and what's going on. And also it introduces the dedicated Apple Vision Pro application, which allows you to see curated information that Apple is giving you so that you're aware of it when you need to know. So things such as brand new Apple immersive video content, applications that you might not know that they've highlighted, and plenty more giving you information about your device and account within this dedicated app, much like you have with Apple Watch. If you were someone that didn't have access to the developer betas and you are going to download the brand new Vision OS 2.4, I'm really interested to hear your comments about it. So please go down to the comments section and write me some info all about your experiences of it once you download it. Tell me what you think to Spatial Gallery. Tell me what you think to Apple Intelligence on the device. Do you feel like it's kind of nothing really to shout home about yet? Or do you think it actually does make your using of Apple Vision Pro that much easier? And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to A Vision Experiment for more videos just like this. And if you do like the Vision OS 2.4 beta, I'm really excited to find out about your experience of it. And I'll catch you for another video really soon.